Welcome. Let's solve this question on vectors. The position vectors of point A and B are 3, negative 1, negative 4, and 8, negative 6, 6, respectively. A point P divides AB in the ratio 2 is to 3. Find the position vector of point P. Position vectors are vectors with reference from point O. Therefore, if A and P are position vectors, and you also require to get the position vector of P, you should know that these are vectors originating from point O. And therefore, there are two methods of solving this question. Uh, one, I will illustrate this one using a diagram. So first position these vectors, uh, assuming that this is the point, this is the point O, where the vectors are originating from. And then I will indicate this point. So we have this is point A, this is point B, this is point O, and this is uh, point P that divides AB in the ratio 2 is to 3. That is internal division. That is why I've positioned P between A and B. So this ratio is like that. So the first way of getting the position vector of point P, and since it is a vector with reference from the origin, it will be vector or P. We get it by moving from O to A, then A to P. Or alternatively, you can use the other route, OB plus BP. You can use these two. I'll use this, this method one. So OP is equals to, I'm using the first method, OA. OA is given as, uh, we're going to use these uh, three, three, negative one, negative four. That is OA. And then, remember this is uh, three, negative one, negative 4, that is a vector, then this one is uh, 8, negative 6, 6, that is OB. Then plus AP, look at AP, AP having this point P dividing AB internally in the ratio 2 is to 3, therefore AP will be 2 divided by 5 AB. So it will be 2 divided by 5 AB. That would be AP. AP is 2 divided by or 2 fifth AB. So therefore we need to get AB. We need to get AB. So what is AB? Since we have uh, A, we're given the position vector of A and B, therefore AB will be given by OB subtract OA, like that. And what is OB? OB is given column vectors. This is 8, negative 6, 6, then subtract OA, which is 3, negative 1, negative 4, like that. And this one will give, uh, this is 8 subtract 3, this will give 5, this will give a negative 6 plus 1, will give negative 5, and 6 neg minus negative 4, that will give 10. You just need to simply subtract the corresponding values. A subtract 3, 5. Negative 6 subtract negative 1, negative 5. 6 subtract negative 4, 10. So that is AB. And therefore, now we have um, OP. You're going to get OP like this. So 3, negative 1, negative 4, like that, plus... 2 over 5 multiplied by AB. We have already obtained AB as 5, negative 5, 10. Like that. So let me proceed to the other page. So this will give, so OP, get it by 3, negative 1, negative 4. Then plus, Multiply each of these terms by 
So 2 over 5 multiply by 5, 2 over 5 multiply by 5, 2 over 5 multiply by 10. So this will give uh, 2 over 5 multiply by 5, that will give 2. That will give 2. 2 over 5 multiply by negative 5, that will give negative 2. And 2 over 5 multiply by 10, that will give uh, 4. Z cos, then you add 3 plus 2, you get 5. Negative 1 um, plus negative 2, this will be negative 3. And then negative 4 plus 4, you get 0. Like that. So that is the position vector. Required to get the position vector of point P. Since the, uh, we also given points A and B in column form, we also leave uh, P like that. So the position vector of P, therefore, is given here. That is a solution. Now that is the first method. Uh, the second method, so method two of getting the same, is by using what we call the ratio theorem. The ratio theorem. Now let's go back to this diagram. Uh, using the ratio theorem, uh, this is how you're going to work out OP. So OP, and this is the easiest way. So OP is given by uh, we take um, 2, I want you to look at these two, eh? 2, uh, 2 divided by 5, 2 divided by 5, you know I'm getting 5, 2 plus 3, so 2 divided by 5, 2 divided by 5, then we multiply by, we multiply by the vector that is to the opposite, and that is multiply by vector OB. So that is multiply by vector of B, then plus. Uh, the other one is 3. Look at 3. 3 divided by 5. The total that is 3 plus 2. So 3 divided by 5. So 3 divided by 5. Then we multiply by uh, the vector that is to the opposite of 3, which is OA. Multiply by OA like that so this will give us uh, the easiest way of finding op so using the ratio theorem that is a uh, 2 divided by 5 ob ob are the column vector of b 8 negative 6 6 8 negative 6 6 like that then plus 3 fifth and then we have oa 3 negative 1 negative 4 3 negative 1 negative 4 like that then Multiply each term in the bracket here by 2 fifth. So this will give uh, 2 fifth multiply by 8. That will give us 16 divided by 5. 2 fifth times negative 6. That will give negative 12 divided by 5. Then 2 fifth the divided uh, multiply by 6. This will be 12 divided by 5 like that. And then plus 3 fifth multiply by by 3 that will be 9 fifth and fifth Let me write it up here 9 fifth 3 fifth multiply by negative 1 negative 3 fifth the 3 fifth multiply by negative 4 this is negative 12 over 5 like that then from there we can simply add we are adding these the corresponding verse so 16 fifth uh, plus 9 over 5 that will be 25 divided by 5 which will give 5 then we go to the next negative 12 of 5 plus minus um, 3 over 5 that will give negative 15 over 5 which will give negative 3 and then lastly we have 12 of 5 plus negative 12 of 5 that will give 12 of 5 subtract 12 of 12 over 5 that will be 0 so you notice you're getting the same answer you're getting the same answer that is the answer that is the answer so we're getting the position vector of p using the ratio theorem and also by using the first method so you can choose the best method for uh, the one that you understand better or easily